high blood sugar levels, known as gestational diabetes, only appear during pregnancy and usually go away after delivery. The start of gestational diabetes, which affects around 7% of all pregnant women, usually starts during the 24th week of pregnancy, when the placenta starts to produce significant amounts of the hormones that cause to insulin resistance. Researchers showed that pregnant women with high fasting blood sugars were 1.5 times more likely to develop hypertension, and that they were also more likely to experience complications during childbirth, including the need for induction of labor, cesarean section, or premature delivery. Your doctor will keep an eye on your blood sugar if you've been diagnosed with gestational diabetes or are at risk for acquiring it. Before eating, your blood sugar will be tested to see how well your body handles sugar. Changes to your food and lifestyle may be necessary if it's above 95 mg per deciliter. In this video, we'll look at a few ways to get the blood sugar level down to less than 90. Keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 1. Keep your carbohydrate consumption in check. The amount of carbohydrates you eat has a significant effect on your blood sugar. Carbohydrates are metabolized into sugars, primarily glucose, by the body. The hormone insulin then facilitates its utilization and storage for later use as fuel. This mechanism fails when a person consumes an excessive amount of carbohydrates or has insulin function issues leading to an increase in blood sugar levels. For this reason, the American Diabetes Association emphasizes the necessity of monitoring carbohydrate intake and adjusting diet accordingly. According to some research, doing this will help you properly plan your meals, which can further enhance blood sugar control. Eating a low-carbohydrate diet has also been shown to help control blood sugar levels and prevent blood sugar rises in numerous studies. It's important to remember that low-carb diets and no-carb diets are not the same. If you're watching your blood sugar levels, don't feel like you have to give up all carbs. However, Whole grains have better nutritional value and can help lower blood sugar levels than processed foods and refined carbohydrates. 2. Maintain a regular exercise routine. Maintaining a healthy weight through exercise can improve insulin sensitivity and help you feel and look great. If your cells are more insulin sensitive, the sugar in your system will be used more efficiently. Exercise also assists your muscles use the sugar in your blood for energy and to move. Monitoring your blood sugar before and after exercise is recommended if you have trouble keeping it under control. Doing so will teach you how your body reacts to various stimuli, which is crucial for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels. Also, researchers say that exercise snacks are a good way to lower blood sugar and stop the damage that can come from sitting all day. Having a 30-minute break from sitting every hour is all it takes to reap the health benefits of exercise snacking throughout the day. Simple resistance activities, such as squats or leg raises, and light walking are among the recommended exercises. Other good ways to get exercise are to lift weights, walk quickly, run, ride a bike, dance, hike, swim, and so on. In fact, a sedentary lifestyle is inferior to any kind of activity that gets you up and moving on a regular basis. Also, if you can't exercise for long periods of time during the week, you can still get a lot out of doing shorter sessions. If you want to exercise for 150 minutes a week, for instance, you may try to exercise for 10 minutes three times a day for five days. 3. Drink plenty of water. Your body's ability to use sugar properly decreases if you're dehydrated. There is no magic number of cups of water per day that everyone should consume, but you should still aim to drink an extra three to four cups. In the event that you wake up in the middle of the night, 
have a glass of water ready next to your bed and drink from your water bottle. Decaffeinated tea and coffee are available, but they may still cause you to have to use the restroom more frequently than water will. 4. Try to have breakfast soon when you wake up. Start eating as soon as you wake up if you tend to skip breakfast or are concerned about a sudden rise in blood sugar. You can control your blood sugar with breakfast by eating a protein-rich meal. Keep your morning meals on the healthier side, like for the most part, cottage cheese, low-fat cheese, hard-boiled eggs, whole-grain flatbreads with peanut butter. 5. Have a protein-rich snack before bed. While you sleep, your digestive system can work to process the snack, which may help prevent an insulin spike. In order to keep insulin levels steady, you should avoid eating a high-carbohydrate snack. This may have a role in causing morning high blood sugar by raising blood sugar levels while you sleep. The combination of oat cakes and cheese, almonds, or crisp bread with peanut butter makes for a filling and protein-rich snack.